All you need is something as simple as figuring out how a candle is formed to find success in your trading. Let's begin. If you guys imagine how a candle is formed, let's imagine here you have your bullish candle. How do you think this candle was formed? As you would imagine, this was the open, right? Price came lower to create the lower wick, expands higher to create the range between the low and the high before a minor retracement. From the open to the close, that is where you have your candle's body. So if you look at it from a diagram standpoint, here, you have your opening. A manipulation lower below the opening, if you were anticipating a bullish candle, expansion higher to create the upper wick before giving you that small retracement. So here, from the open to the end of the retracement, that is where you would have your body. And where your retracement is, that is where you have your upper wick and the manipulation below the open, that is where you have your lower wick. Like so. And understanding this key concept will make your navigation in price much more clearer. Because when you think price is reversing against you, if you are aware of what the high time frame direction is telling you, then the price action that looks like a reverse, you would be confident that it was simply just your manipulation to create a wick of the candle before expansion in its intended direction. So that brings me on to my next point, the three stages of a candle's formation. I already touched on the first stage, but here, when you have, again, we are still focusing on this bullish candle example, when you have the price action below the opening of that candle, that is where you have your manipulation, right? And when you have the expansion higher, that is your expansion. And the third stage you will have is a retracement, whether that is a minor retracement or a significant retracement. So those are essentially your three stages in a candle's formation. The fourth optional stage you could have is possibly an accumulation before your manipulation. In this scenario, what the accumulation does is it provides liquidity on both sides of the market. So there's buy side liquidity above here and sell side liquidity here. This is to provide liquidity for the manipulation to sweep sell side liquidity to accumulate long positions with short sellers here for price to then distribute higher and then exiting out of positions at the buy side liquidity above here. So that's the basic diagram of your candles formation, accumulation, manipulation, expansion, and retracement. Remember, accumulation is an optional stage. You won't always get accumulation. So let's begin by looking at the charts. Here, doing your top-down analysis, right? What has price done here? It has swept this buy side liquidity. What does it tap into? This mitigation block over here. Respecting that mitigation block, taking out buy side liquidity. From here, a low gets implemented, which price has a heavy displacement through it. That it gives you your market structure shift. Price then comes back, rebalances this imbalance, and as you would have guessed, tapped into this order block, this bearish order block that was left behind, essentially respecting premium arrays and disrespecting discount arrays again. So what can you confidently say here? The high time frame direction being my daily time frame isn't a bearish sentiment. What would your next target be? This sells our liquidity, this sells our liquidity, and then eventually the overall sells our liquidity. Because if you look here, this is simply your market maker sell model. And here, where we had this market structure shift, that was your smart money reversal. So, if we clear this for now, and zoom closer here to current price action, price again rebalances this odd imbalance. Remember the two functions in price, rebalance old inefficiencies and seek new liquidity. So once it has rebalanced this imbalance, with a body closure back within the range after rebalancing this imbalance, it makes it very high probability and from here when a swing high gets implemented your swing high is when the middle wick is higher than the wicks beside it so here the second candle has the highest wick in comparison to the first candle's wick and the third candle's wick so here when a swing high gets implemented within this imbalance with a body back within the range it makes the rebalance of this imbalance a very high probability you wouldn't expect for this high to get violated so this becomes your high resistance high now like i said rebalance all efficiency and then seek liquidity this becomes your next draw on liquidity, which is also close to this low. So you could say that here, you have relatively equal lows. Because that's the case, we could anticipate for the next candle to print bearish after the swing high was implemented within this imbalance. And if you remember how your candle formation gets formed, what would you expect to see if you was anticipating a bearish candle? Some sort of manipulation to the upside, right? Before expansion lower, take out this soft side liquidity and a possible retracement. So here, if we drop down onto the hourly time frame now and play price out to your minute opening, we could use the minute opening as the baseline for our three stages. 
Here, this is the midnight opening. That is the open of. So anything above the midnight opening is your premium. Anything below the midnight opening is your discount. Like I said, if we are anticipating for the next daily candle to have a bearish expansion, you would want to see manipulation above the midnight opening, either sweeping some sort of liquidity or tapping into a higher time frame PDRA before expansion lower to take out engineered liquidity below here. Eventually taking out your overall source of liquidity as well as these relatively equal lows. So let's play price out and see what it does. Price comes above the midnight opening, sweeps this buy side liquidity before it has a strong displacement lower. So that is your first stage done. Manipulation above the midnight opening. Now that we have the manipulation, which is also backed up that we had a market structure shift here, what would you expect the next stage to be? Expansion, right? After manipulation, there always has to be expansion. And that is what you get here. Expansion past this source of liquidity. What comes next? This source of liquidity, right? And that is exactly what you get there. Because this is in current time, this is where we are starting to get that minor retracement after sweeping this source of liquidity. Because remember, every time price takes out liquidity, it usually has some sort of a retracement to rebalance old inefficiencies before continuing lower. Now, as this is the current daily candle, and the daily candle still has 8 hours left of its lifespan, it is too soon to tell whether this retracement is due to the low of the day being created yet, or it's simply just a minor retracement to rebalance all the inefficiencies before continuing lower and taking out external range liquidity again before the end of the day. Right, but from this alone, you could already identify the three stages in a candle's formation. Because here, even though the candle is still forming, if I draw a line out from the high of this weight of this candle and I go into a daily, you can see that anything below that line is the bottom wick of the daily candle. And that is what I mentioned earlier when I showed you guys the diagram. From the open of the candle to the end of the retracement, that is where you have the body. The manipulation in a bearish candle is your upper wick and the retracement in a bearish candle is your lower wick. Vice versa for a bullish candle. So here, even though this candle is still forming, remember this daily candle still has 8 hours left before it fully closes, you could already see the wicks forming in place with the minor retracement and you could already see how the candle's body is being created with your expansion after you had that manipulation. So here, if we look at another example, it's the same thing, but this time it is bullish. Here, price is respecting this rejection block and it has a displacement higher. In the process of doing so, it creates a minor imbalance. Price then rebalances this imbalance with a swing low. So usually when a swing low or swing high is implemented, the fourth candle is going to follow in the direction of that swing point. So when you have a swing low, the fourth candle is likely going to be a bullish expansion. When you have a swing high, the fourth candle is likely going to be a bearish expansion. So in this scenario, because we had a swing low implemented after rebalancing the sold imbalance, you could anticipate for the next candle to have a bullish expansion. And if that's the case, you could look for the same thing. This time, rather than using the midnight opening, let's use the actual opening of the candles open. So here, dropping onto the one hour, and then the candle has now opened at 5pm New York time. So that is the candles opening on the daily's candle. Like I said, after we implemented this swing low, what would you anticipate for the fourth candle to be? A bullish expansion, right? And because we are anticipating a bullish expansion, what do you want to see? First stage, manipulation to the downside. And then second stage expansion, before your third stage having some sort of a minor retracement. So, let's see if that is what we get. All right? Look at that. That is your manipulation. Price takes out this source of liquidity to manipulate. Because at the start of this video, I mentioned a fourth possible stage. That is where you have your accumulation. And this right here, my friends, is your accumulation. What is generated above these highs? Buy side liquidity, right? What is being generated below these lows? Sell side liquidity. So price accumulated before having that strong manipulation lower, sweeping sell side liquidity. Like I said, this manipulation is simply accumulating more positions before distributing it higher and pairing up their positions with these buy side liquidity up here. So let's play price out and see what it does. You see that heavy displacement higher, giving you a market structure break. You had your manipulation below the candles opening, and now you have your expansion. See how strong that expansion is in comparison to this manipulation. Which is why, once you understand how a candle gets formed, this manipulation right here wouldn't throw you guys off. Many people would think that when you had this manipulation lower, yes, it had displacement and it took out significant lows. But look at the bigger picture. The daily, 
you had rebalance this imbalance and created a swing low so it's unlikely that it's going to reverse on it and instead it wants to just continue expanding higher. Hence why you should always place heavy emphasis on your high time frame direction because your lower time frame direction is nothing without awareness of where the higher time frame direction is heading for. And then look what you have here. After you had this expansion, this is where you had your minor retracement. Notice how the retracement doesn't break any significant structure and instead it was just a retracement to rebalance old inefficiencies. Right? If you go into daily now, that is how that candle got formed. Manipulation lower, sweeping sell sell liquidity on the lower time frame to create your bottom wick before expansion higher to create the range from the low of the candle to the high of the candle. And then you have that retracement to rebalance imbalances after seeking out external range liquidity to create the upper wick of the candle. So from the open of the candle to the end of that retracement, that is where you have your candle's body. Now, because that's the case, you could do the same thing for your next candle. You know how a candle gets formed out. It always has to follow some sort of a manipulation before expansion. So once you get that manipulation, you could place yourself in a very advantageous position to catch the expansion. So here, because price is heavily expanding bullish after rebalancing this old imbalance, you could expect the next candle to follow through and continue expanding bullish to take out your next draws on liquidity being this buy sell liquidity. Yeah, you have another one before eventually taking out these relatively equal highs. And this is just a market maker buy model. Here you have your smart money reversal. So again, if we drop down onto a lower time frame to avoid confusion and not use the minute opening, let's use the candles opening again. The true candles opening, 5 p.m. open, you get the same thing. This is now a reclaimed imbalance. Now price can react off of or this sell side liquidity. But the key thing to know here is we had already came under this true candles opening. This segment in price right here was your manipulation. Price could expand higher from here and this reclaimed imbalance was all that was needed but we will mark this sell side liquidity out just in case. That is exactly what you get. Heavy displacement higher. Taking out this high before giving you another break to confirm it with much heavier displacement. Again, your first stage manipulation before expansion higher. It has a minor retracement back into the manipulation area and below the candles opening before having continued expansion higher. So this entire segment in price is your expansion. That is your second stage in the candles formation. So now you know how a candle gets formed. This is where, like I said, you could place yourself in a very advantageous position because your manipulation has already been initiated. So what comes out of manipulation? Expansion. This is where you can look for price to retrace back into a discount array to catch the expansion move because your overall direction is bullish. The reason why I say discount array is because in a bullish scenario, discount arrays should be respected, premium arrays should be disrespected. Here, you have this bullish order block, buy side liquidity up here, buy side liquidity up here, before your overall buy side liquidity resting above here. So that is your overall target. And these two buy side liquidity is your immediate target. When price retraces into this order block, you could drop down onto the lower time frame, such as a 15 minute, to look for your entries. This is one of the entry models that I could take because I know that on the hourly, discount arrays should be respected, premium arrays should be disrespected. So already, you could enter off of here, stop loss below that, and then target this immediate draw on liquidity. But the thing is, all you're doing when you drill down onto a lower time frame is refining your entry and possibly a better stop loss for a higher risk to reward ratio. But that doesn't mean that on the hourly, you can't just enter off here straight away. That is still a valid trade. When you go down into the lower time frame, you are just looking for the extra confirmation. So here, back down onto 50 minute. Now, because this 50 minute candle has shown a very strong bullish aggression, on the next candle, this is where I can look to enter. I know that this candle here, where it closed, is where the next candle is going to open. Unless it was a volume imbalance or it is a gap, but this is a topic for a future video. But usually, when a candle closes, the next candle, that is where it is going to open. So if I'm anticipating for the next candle to print heavily bullish in line with my hourly bullish direction and my daily bullish direction off of this hourly discount array, this is where I could anticipate for it to follow the same candle kind of formation. Open, manipulation lower into some sort of a PD array on the lower time frame before expansion higher, right? So if I know that's the case, my entry could be somewhere here to catch the manipulation because the best entries you could have it's always when price is manipulating to offer you that minor pullback for you to enter in before you catch the expansion move. So my stop loss could be around here, entry somewhere around there to catch the manipulation, or it could just be at the open of that candle. And then my take profit would be at this overall high. So, paying price up, 
See what it does. Let me do that slowly. Look at how that candle was formed. Did you see that bearish candle? It started off bearish because when it opened, it has to manipulate lower. When it manipulates lower, that gives you a bearish candle. To ensure you get the best possible entries, you always want to enter when a candle starts off bearish in a bullish scenario because that shows you price is currently manipulating. You are not anticipating for the candle to close bearish. You are anticipating it to expand bullish and close bullish like this completed candle here. But in order to do so, it always has to have some sort of a manipulation at the start. And that is where price will have a temporary bearish candle to show you a manipulation is taking place. So look how where it opened. Exactly where the close of the previous candle was. A manipulation lower, which is what you get by the bottom weight, into your entry before expanding higher. That is your second stage in the candle's formation. First stage, manipulation. Second stage, expansion higher. Take out this first immediate drawn liquidity before eventually, before taking out your next drawn liquidity. And as you could expect, down close candles supporting price to go higher before taking out that overall drawn liquidity. So here's another example. Remember, as price is fractal, you can do the same thing on the hourly and the lower time frame being your five minute as well. What does the hourly do? It rebalances this imbalance after following the hourly bearish trend. After favoring, after reclaiming this imbalance, it takes out this buy side liquidity and this imbalance becomes reclaimed. So after taking out this buy side liquidity, what gets implemented? A swing high. The first, second and third, first and third candle, the upper wick of those two candles is lower than the second candle's upper wick, which makes this a swing high. Remember what I said, the fourth candle will always follow through in the direction that favors whether it's swing high or swing low. So swing high, the fourth candle should be a bearish expansion. Now, the next candle is the 7 a.m. candle. So let's jump down onto the five minute and look for your entries. With a strong display and lower, price is currently retracing. Let's play out to the 7 a.m. This is the 7 opening a.m. candle. And what would you like to see from here? Manipulation above this opening candle before expansion lower. So then, if you go into the hourly, you have these trend line liquidity that we could take next. So here, let's go down to 5 minute. And from here, you can use this bearish order block to enter off of, because that is where your manipulation for the 7 a.m. candle is. Stop loss above this high. Take profit order below here. You are entering off the manipulation and taking profit at the expansion. So this concludes this video on the candle formation. If you guys found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below in the comments. And like always, take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.